Good evening everybody and welcome to RB Outdoors and tonight I'm going to be cooking venison schnitzel but I'm going to kick it up about five notches. Venison or schnitzel by itself is usually served with either just fresh lemon when it's finished but if you know me I always like to kind of kick it up and try something different so I'm going to be cooking venison schnitzel with a chimichurri sauce. Yes, you heard me right. Schnitzel with chimichurri. So we're gonna prepare this right now. I'm gonna go through all the ingredients. I recommend if you're going to try this recipe or even make your own chimichurri, to do it at least an hour or two hours before you actually cook your schnitzel to let all those ingredients marinate and soak in really good. So let's get to the ingredients and show you how it's done. Okay, wh how we're gonna make this chimichurri is I've got some fresh cilantro, one bunch, and some fresh flat leaf Italian parsley, one bunch. I've got approximately about a half a cup of olive oil. And on the vinegar, it's kind of to taste, but I'm probably gonna be using maybe an eighth of a cup or so. And I got some Italian seasoning that I'm also going to put in this with the rest of the ingredients. Fresh garlic. I like my chimichurri spicy, so I'm going to put a red jalapeno in there. And then we're going to top it off with some kosher salt and black pepper. We're going to get all this chopped up, put it in a bowl, and we're going to let it sit for about an hour or even more. So let's get to prepping this stuff. So I'm just going to start off with the uh, cilantro. It's all been pre-washed. We did all this at home. And the best part when you're camping, being in outdoors, you can just get rid of your stems. And now for the parsley. Now for the pepper. When it comes to the pepper, it's your own choice. I'm gonna probably put only half of one in there. If you like it super hot, put a whole one in there. And now for the garlic. And once again, if you like lots of garlic, put as much as you want in. I'm going to put in three good, you know, pretty good sized cloves. Because I do love garlic. Okay, now we're going to put in some uh, kosher salt, black pepper, I'm just doing a good pinch. Then we're going to put in our approximately half a cup of olive oil. And then I got some Italian seasoning. about that much and then I'm going to pour in about that much red wine vinegar again if you like it more vinegar you can use more or less okay. 
Then, I'm going to mix all this together. And the olive oil and the vinegar is going to slowly break down the cilantro and the parsley. And you can play with the olive oil and the uh, vinegar to make it thicker or thinner. I'm going to let this sit for a minute. Right now it looks a little bit too thick, but I'm going to let it sit down and uh, see what happens. And I might add a little more vinegar or olive oil. So now just cover this. You can uh, put this in the fridge if, if it's going to be several hours, but if you only got an hour or two before you're going to put your schnitzel on, I just cover it and leave it at room temperature because you don't want it too cold because you're going to be putting it on, on a hot schnitzel. So now we will get to our venison and get that pounded out and cooked up. Okay, I've got my venison and I've got them cut into, oh, about one inch by one inch by one inch. Now again, you can use pork. You can even use chicken and just pound it out flat. I just got some cellophane. And you're gonna cover your meat, whether it's the pork or chicken or venison and a pounder. And there is one schnitzel. You can go a little thinner if you like it thinner. And then just repeat. All right, there we go. We have our venison all pounded out. And what I'm gonna do for a side is I'm gonna make some home fries. And these potatoes I boiled about three quarters the way done at home. My whole objective here on RB Outdoors Tundra Tailgate Kitchen is to show you that you can have some really good meals if you do most of the prep at home. That's the way you can keep the mess at home, the inconvenience of cooking a, a nice meal outdoors, you can do most of it at home. All I'm gonna do is slice these up, put them in this uh, cast iron, with some olive oil and some onions, and all I'm gonna do is brown them. I don't have to cook them, because they already three quarters of the way done. So let's get to breading and getting these cooked, and then it will be dinner time. So I got the potatoes going. I got a little onion in here, salt and pepper. And like I said, these are already done. I'm just heating them and browning them. Okay, let's get to breading the venison. I first like to take the kosher salt and black pepper and get both sides. I had to stop and put the flannel on. The sun went down. It's the first week weekend in spring, but we're still kind of surrounded by snow. And let me tell you, it's getting cold. All right. Kosher salt, black pepper. I just got regular flour. I want to coat that real good. Shake off the excess. All I got is a couple eggs in here, scrambled up. And then I have panko or Japanese breadcrumbs. And then repeat. Now you can use regular seasoned breadcrumbs. I like the panko because when you fry it, it, it man, it gets nice and crispy. So I've got the oil up here getting hot. We've got our potatoes done. 
and let's get these into the cast iron. Okay, we got our cast iron with our hot oil. And what I do is I usually kind of put it in there. Oh yeah, you can see it, you can hear it. And guys, seriously, it's about two minutes per side. These things cook really quick. Ho, 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 look at that. Wow, that's exactly how you want it. It's been about two minutes. Got that nice crispy golden crust. Okay, here we have it. We've got our schnitzel, we got our home fries. I'm gonna bring a couple schnitzels over there and put some chimichurri on it. And then we gotta restock this fire because I gotta tell you, it is getting awfully cold. All right, we got our chimichurri. We're just gonna put this on like this. And man, this smells so good. You can smell the olive oil, the vinegar, the garlic, the cilantro, and the parsley. And if everything goes right, even with the plastic fork, look at this, no knife, super tender. I'm telling you, this is so good. Again, if you don't have venison, chicken or pork, but for all of you hunters out there, just another way to cook venison because we're always looking for different ways to cook venison and have people enjoy venison because a lot of people just say they don't want venison but this if you feed this to them and you don't even tell them it's venison they'll never know thank you so much for watching we will catch you next time on the tundra tailgate kitchen we got to eat before this gets cold Ah, what a great day it's been. We've been busy today. We've done a lot of videotaping. Yes. We've done a lot of fire time. Uh, we've had all kinds of degrees of weather as far as, I mean, we woke up and it was in the 20s, we think, this morning. And, uh, and then we were sweating this afternoon. So, and now we're cold again. We've got our car hearts on, we're layered up, but, um, it's been a great day. Um, yeah, it's the first weekend in spring yep. of mm -hmm. March 2020. And we decided to uh, get out of town and, uh, well, we're actually 40 minutes from our house, but <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, that's the best part of living where we live here in North Central Washington. Yeah. We can just leave our house and be in the woods in a very, very short time. We've had so much going on in the world lately with the uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, and um, so much uncertainty. And, um, you know, we just said, you know what? We gotta get out. We gotta get out. We gotta get some fresh air. 
and uh, get back to what we enjoy. Get back to nature. Absolutely, yeah. So it's been very therapeutic for me, for yes, sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so. we've had the up swings of temperatures, um, but that's that's how it is here in the spring. So, uh, but I got to tell you, after this weekend and what the world's going through right now, um, I have a, a much brighter outlook. Um, you know what? We will get through this. Uh, we always do. And when I mean we, I mean, I mean the whole world, because mm -hmm. this is affecting the whole world, not just the USA. Um, Never would have thought this was something that we'd be dealing with. Yeah, it's crazy. It's stuff that's in movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, uh, you know, this too will pass. We'll all uh, get back to work and back to normal. And, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be okay. But here at RB Outdoors, we will still bring you all the adventures that we can. Um, as the weather progresses, we're going to be getting up further and further up into the high country. We're just waiting for all this snow to melt. And we are still going to keep producing. And, you know, it, who knows how long this thing's going to last. And if we can help you, give you some entertainment if you're confined to your apartment in Italy or <laughs> the UK or California. Um, we're all in this together. We're all in this together. <laughs> so if we can give you some entertainment That's right. um, to keep you going out of your mind in boredom, um, we'll, we'll just keep doing it. That's right. And, and we just hope you enjoy this. And thank you for so much for watching. It means a lot to us. So stay tuned. We do have some exciting news. We are going to be starting a Brenda's Hydration Station coming up, and I'm really excited about it. We're going to be creating some of our signature cocktails, RB Outdoors signature cocktails, and uh, I'm excited. It's going to be a new segment for RB Outdoors to go along with the Tundra Tailgate Kitchen, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fun, and uh, stay tuned. Well, thank you for watching. We are going to uh, enjoy our little camp whiskey and watch this fire die down. And if you could please subscribe and give our video a thumbs up, that would be so helpful to us. It means a lot to us. It means a whole more than you could ever know. And we're just going to try our best to give you the best quality videos and adventures of cooking. Um, we've got some great ideas coming this spring and summer as soon as it gets here. <laughs> so thank you again. Cheers. Cheers. And we'll see you on the next episode of RB Outdoors.